uh, this season, like, or, I guess last season with Cal State Fulton, y'all were able to win the Big West. Big West, yeah. So talk, I guess, a little bit about that season. like. Oh, yeah. so what's it called? Um, when I went to University of Cal, I mean, Cal State Fullerton, mm-hmm. I went there with my uh, friend, Ija and Asoki. Mm-hmm. We decided to go there together, and our thing was he's actually from Nigeria, too. Mm-hmm. So we were like, you know what? He... We, he, he, so he was like, we, we want to have fun with this, man. Mm-hmm. How about we go somewhere? You know, we knew getting a scholarship wasn't uh, going to be a problem for us, you know, because, you know, we all offer something that maybe college, you know, teams need it. Uh-huh. So, we, all right, let's go to California. We just made our mind. We were like, <laughs> you know, and the coaches, they were recruiting us, so we were we just went straight to Cal State Fullerton. Uh-huh. And, you know, we told ourselves, hey, man, let's – they shake the how I don't know. I think we see these things. They shake the room or whatever it was. So he's from New York. He has uh-huh. all these things. They shake the room, like you know. So we went there and we were like, okay, we want we want to make sure we we won the championship here. Uh-huh. You know, we want to have a legacy here, on and off the court. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? And then you know, we realize that you know what we gotta get the team together because you know those guys. I mean. Last time they went to like you know the NCAA tournament, or where that was, it was a while ago, and then you know they this preview season to that they weren't doing well, so we were like you know let's you know have a lot of events, let's take our player, let's take the team, um, our teammate with us, so we can go hang out and kind of like get it, you know, because we knew it was more than basketball, you know, so we kind of we did a lot of hanging out and stuff like that, and. You know, basically, we just, we went all, you know, went, went all in, you know, and basically whoever is good at what, you know, contribute to the team, do what you're best at, mm-hmm. uh, and that, you know. Last year, my role was more of a leadership, basically. Like, you know, I was kind of like, you know, because uh, obviously I went to UCF. We went there, that was, I played against Duke twice. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, when I was at UCF, we played against them, mm-hmm. you know. And then I called Steve Fullerton, we played against them last year. Too. Yeah. So my whole thing was, like, you know, how do I share that experience that I had at UCF? Mm-hmm. How to get to the NCAA tournament? How to, like, you know, it's discipline. It's not just basketball. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we kind of, like, put things together. And EJ also went to the NCAA tournament because he went to Tennessee. Mm-hmm. So, you know. And we kind of like, you know, got the team together and told them everybody got their own role, do what you're best at, let's stick together, and then, you know, it was easy. Speaking of the um, NCAA tournament, we wanted to get your thoughts about um, playing against Duke and um, playing against uh, Apollo Panchero, because I know we talked about him on the podcast. Yeah. What do you have to say about uh, him? Getting to see him, like, there. Like, you saw him in the NCAA tournament. What, do you have, what exactly are your thoughts? Did that, they were shooting, right? When I saw that, man, you know, so you have to understand, like, you know, like with basketball, man, when somebody's, like, how tall is he, like 6'10"? Something he's like up, that. Yeah, he's he's really there. tall. Yeah, he's 6'10". And then do you know how much he weighed? This dude is, like, probably, like, at least, like, like at least 265, probably. Man. 260, I mean... I don't. I would think they probably. I don't know if they're lying about the weight, but he's on TV. Sometimes dude. you can't tell that they're yeah. that big. Oh yeah. no, they're he's, huge. He's yeah. huge, man. That's a big kid right uh-huh. there, man. And, and you know, I think what make him special is because you know, with that size, wings can guard him because you know he's too strong. Mm-hmm. And now the bigs can guard him because he's too mobile, like he can move. So that's his advantage. And you know, playing against him, man, he was. We thought he couldn't shoot, and he was knocking down shots. And, you know, <laughs> and then I didn't know. Actually, I got in the game, like, you know, one time. I think I got in the game twice. So the first time man, I got in the game, I'm, like, guarding him. He went right, like, he blew, like, <laughs> went right by me. I'm like, hold on, man, how? <laughs> and it's crazy because you know? you're really talented, so yeah, it's like, crazy. Yeah, you know, so yeah. I'm like, you know, this is, like, I'm athletic. This dude is, like, he's big, like, move like that, man. Yeah. And I'm like, this is wild. This is crazy. But, yeah, that kid is. It's nice, but when I went to so uh, what's it called the summer league, I got to see him again because mm-hmm. I went to the summer league and then scouted a little bit and then you know I got to see him play live and then I'm like wow, this kid is you know you know it's, it's nice. It's Did good. you get the chance to see any of the other uh, top uh, guys drafted and playing the summer league while you were there? Yeah, I saw I saw most of them. Chat, uh, chat as well. 
I saw I saw all of them. Chet I, saw, I saw all of them. Plays for OKC. We, we, have, we talked about a lot of them on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. The, the the skinny. The, yeah, the, the, yeah. Skinny, skinny, he's tall. Yeah, the white yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. He actually even played against my friend Taco. Yeah, like before Vegas, they play in uh, what's this called um, in Utah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that kid is nice, special too. Mm-hmm. But what was the kid that was interesting to me was that kid that went to Louisiana, Kenny, Kenneth something. The big dude, the big one, like he's oh, six six. Um, yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. I forgot his name. Six six with uh-huh. big stomach, man. And yeah, then, and you can play. Uh huh. What was crazy is that last year, we went to Vegas. I went there with my friend Mohammed. We went to Vegas, and that guy, I think he was with his father or somebody that was mentoring him. Mm-hmm. They came in our table, you know, and then the guy was like, "Yeah, man, you know, hopefully next year he get to be here," and it's crazy. That next year was this year. We saw him there. He was playing yeah. well. Wow. Yeah. So, so I was wondering a little bit about, like, what the atmosphere was like playing against Duke in that uh, NCAA tournament game because, obviously, like, that's that's about as high profile as it gets. And last season was, a, like, a monumental one for Duke, specifically because of Coach K being – it was his last go-round. Exactly. So I was just wondering about, like, how that atmosphere was like getting to play in that, that, that packed stadium, playing Duke, two-seed, you know? Yeah, I mean, this it was, just, it was really cool because we had there was a lot of fans out there, but like I said, that was my second time playing uh-huh. against them. So like, and then I went to big school. So you were yeah. you were you weren't as you were unfazed by it. You were familiar. With I was familiar area. because I'm I was used to playing against like I mean playing with like a lot of fans. So mm-hmm. you know, so it wasn't like you know, for me, yeah, it was just like you know, another game to be honest with you. Like mm. you know, I wasn't. He wasn't thinking of anything nah, of it. N- nah, but people I knew, there was a lot of things. People wanted us to, like, upset them, like, beat them. Uh-huh. And, you know, that was that thing going on. And then my friends were, like, kind of nervous and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, to me, I was just looking at it as, like, you know, it's just another game. Basketball is now you can't make it, you know, you can't make it, like, you know, more than it is. It just mm-hmm. Thank you all for checking out this clip of the Shooter Straight Podcast. Please like and subscribe and check out our social medias in the description box below. Click the logo to watch more clips and check out previous episodes.